MAJ36 here, and this time I have kind of a little random, but I have uh, 11 old school packs. Not really, uh, but I have metal raid four Metal Raiders, four Invasion of Chaos, and three Legend of Blues. And these aren't um, old school because you can tell by the way this Konami logo is here. These are actually from the uh, Legendary Collection 1s. Um, but you can tell here, the, I don't have an example here. I can put maybe one on the, on the screen. Uh, but the old school packs that had a completely different logo here, especially the the Legend of Blue Eyes and the Metal Raiders, especially they had like the square Konami, and Invasion of Chaos has actually Invasion of Chaos has actually had more reprints since then, but uh, that would have like the uh, other version of the Konami logo. But anyways, I just wanted to do these. I found them at Target. Target has like these random bins that are just filled with random empty booster packs. You can see a little sticker here. They're like three dollars a piece, and I I've opened a couple of these in the past, and I've done decently well. Um, I don't think. I've almost never seen anything get pulled from these Legend of Blue Eyes packs. I have pulled a secret from Metal Raiders and nothing great from Invasion of Chaos, but I figured why not? Let's just do an opening. Um, so let's do. I'm gonna do Blue Eyes first. I'm gonna do this one right here. So and these are again these are reprinted, so they were just made not a few years ago, and they do, they do have rares. They have they have a guaranteed rare, and they could have a hollow just like new packs. And I really, the reason I don't like about these is they, they've lowered the value of unlimited cards tremendously. The unlimited cards, used to, cause there's no way for you to be able to tell by looking at this card. I mean, if we look at it, it just says LOB 047. There's nothing, it looks just like an old school card. Now, there might be different wording on it. I'm not sure, but I don't think I don't think that is the case. Now, when you open the pack, you can tell instantly, one, because of the artwork on it, and two, because it has a rare, and it would have a hollow in it if it did. So, let's see here. Separate the rares and hollows over here. And I'll do Invasion of Chaos. But I just really don't, I mean, it just really destroys that market form. It's not a big deal, but, you know, it makes the first editions more valuable. But you also can't tell. If you're a real, if you're a serious collector, you, uh, you want the originals. Rage Battle Ox. Greener. Gigantis. I'll do Metal Raiders. We'll just go around a circle like that. But it's always nice to open up old things like this. Sort of not old. Again, I want to. That's technically like a quotations of old. Oh, Queen's Double. I think it's a, that was a short print. I don't really know if you can count that as a short print now. But uh, Princess of Tissaguri, Tainted Wisdom. And see, I don't. A lot of these older packs, uh, the way they would work is, like, however they were printed, they basically would be like you would always get usually the same four cards in a row. So you get this card, then that card, then that card, then that card. And it would always be the same. So I don't know if they were, these were uh, reprinted the same way. They may have been. So. So nowadays they're kind of random all over the place, so you can't predict what's next. Fissure for rare. That's a nice rare. Oh, cool. Polymerization. Super rare. Nice. So I do get something out of these. Uh... You know what? I think I've gotten a... Uh, I feel like I've gotten a Cursed Dragon before out of some of these Legend of Blue Eyes reprint packs. Invasion of Chaos. I'd love to get something really nice out of Invasion of Chaos. I never opened much as a kid. Um, it's actually a really, I mean, it's a really expensive set to, like, find any packs for anyway, so. BLS is a BLS, so. Getsu Fujima, Zero Gravity. There are some really good cards. Um, so I guess the way you can't complain. For newer players, it would be a great way that, you know, if they don't want to spend a million dollars to, not a million dollars, but a bunch of monies. Thunder Dragon, that's a nice one. It's actually a short print, uh, you know. Was a short print. Illusion of Spaceless Mage. Huh, I remember that in this pack. Huh. Can Soldier. Like a Thunderball. Yeah, Rainbow Flower. I think that's also a short print. Although, again, the, the word short print's very. You can loosely use that. Alright, so last Legend of Blue Eyes pack. Let's see if we can get something nice. Um, piece of Exodia, I guess. Would be a cool thing. Or a Trihorn Dragon. I love that card so much. Whatever I want is not a guy the Swift Knight. That's the worst thing. Just or guy of the Dragon Champion. All right, so no, nothing on that one. All right. I don't mind. There's nothing really, honestly, that great to uh, get. Monster Reborn. I think that's pretty cool. That was an Ultra. I actually like. I like a, a super rare trap hole. I like that a lot. Hyper Hammer. It's a card you always see uh, common. So Skull Mark Ladybug. Earth Chant. I think that was a decent card back in the day. Chain Disappearance Rare. Chaos Sorcerer. That's that one. Smashing Ground. 
second magic ruler pack. Lava Ma. I think it was Dimp that has a short print again. I don't. It seems like it always has a short print in it. Elegant Egotist. Oh, nice! Senga of the Thunder. So yeah, another super. It's not too bad. Leg Ghoul. Share the Pain. Share the Pain's a good card, I think, if I remember correctly. Tribute one monster you control to make your opponent tribute one monster they control. It's not bad, at least it destroys. Gets rid of one of yours. I guess if you had like a scapegoat, I guess that would work. Last Invasion of Chaos Pack. Invasion? Yeah. Skull, Mark, Ladybug. Or it's Chant. I said bug really weird there. Um, Ojama Delta Hurricane. That's a nice card. Enrage Balox Rare. No, uh, dun dun dun. Nothing. No hollows at least. That's not too bad, like I said. I didn't expect much. Hopefully, I'll get one more in this. That'd be nice. But I'll actually show you the random. I have some of these other packs I opened a while back. I just bought randomly, and they all had almost hollows in them. Or they almost all had hollows in them. So I'll show you that. Oh, cool. Cocoon of Evolution. That's nice. Can I get a giant moth? Oh, no. Starboy. Rare. Blackland Fire Dragon. Empress Judge. Harvey Lady. Mega Thunderball. So, yeah, let me find those full packs real fast. Yeah, so. It's just some random ones. I, I don't know why I just kept them in this, but let's see these are. I think these almost all had all of them. Uh, yeah, see this had DD Warrior Lady. This is actually kind of an interesting card, Numinous Healer. Um, this is a short print. This is an incredibly short print card in the original Pharaoh Servant. Um, so, no bank cross out. Out of this, yeah, I don't know why Numinous Healer. So I've seen like multiple box openings. People haven't pulled that card, so it's not that great of an effect. So, yeah, yeah, these don't have anything in them, I don't think. Yeah, this Metal Raiders actually was the best one. How these random cards open had a Secret Thousand Dragon in it, which is really nice to see. But again, these aren't the opening we're doing now. We're just I just had these laying on next to the side. We're gonna show them off too. It's kind of the same thing. If I had, if I had. Not open them when I got them, but set those aside. So for a quick recap, I'm just shuffle through these commons. Not too bad. I mean, again, like if you like old school cards, but that's what I don't like about these is that you just can't tell the difference between this really and uh, the original limited. I don't know if like again some of the effects are probably changed. Um, the spell cards obviously all say spell cards. That's one thing. Note if you're ever looking for old school unlimited, not invasion of chaos, but old school. Um, uh, like like Forest here, for example, that should say Magic card, not Spell card if it's unlimited, because they didn't change it until they got the Magic Ruler. Because that's it was right then that uh, Wizard of the Coast basically like tried to sue him or whatever for using the word Magic, because apparently you can't use the word Magic unless you're playing Magic the Gathering. Because any other example of the word Magic, at least in a card game, so is not good, but. Yeah, again, these are nice. If you find them at Target, I'd recommend picking them up. They're not the little worst possible thing you can do with your money. They're not a great, you know, they're not great. Um, I guess you could scale them. That'd be the best way to do it. But they're kind, of, they're kind of fun to open, especially again if you're like a newer player. And, um, you never had any of these old packs. Get some of these cool cards. I mean, Giant Soldier Stone. I mean, it's still not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. And we got two supers, which is a Sangha Thunder and Polymerization. So, not too, again, not the worst thing ever. We got Sangha, which is practically useless. And Polymerization is always nice, though. People can still probably use this with this uh, old artwork on it. But, uh, anyways, that was it for that. Let me know what you thought about that. If you want to see more of these, let me know. I can try and find more of them. But, anyways, until next time, Anime Dude 836, and peace out.